Good morning from sunny Southern California on this early December day. Today I'm going to do an unpacking video on my Bird Buddy camera for which I and thousands, tens of thousands of others have waited patiently for two years. And there's not many products that I would wait two years for, but I want to show you what's the result of that wait. So <clears throat> full disclosure, I actually opened up this box earlier. I start taking things out and at every stage I said, OMG, I need to get a picture of this because just the packaging, start with the packaging, just the packaging is phenomenal. Uh, I'm a big Apple products user guy. I give them some of the best marks in the world for packaging. When you see how this Bird Buddy was assembled, the design of packaging, the tolerances of packaging are just extraordinary. So again, I haven't packed it. I had to carefully put it back together. It's a small jigsaw puzzle, but fit together flawlessly. So here we go. It comes in a 12 by 12 box. I actually got the solar powered with a stand, a mounting stand, and a suet holder. So first thing I did was, in the box, it's a 12 by 12 box, and I'm going to be leaning this up because i got the camera a tripod. And with some paper on top, all packed. Copy of my, of my address, the shipping documentation. And inside you will see uh, the Bird Buddy. And even, even the tolerance here, this just fits in perfectly. This is the wall mount. Down here is the suet cup. So I start taking out, again, the wall mount. Just, just again, there's, it's, the, the tolerances on this packaging are incredible. And this is the exterior packaging. Now, this is just, I say just, <clears throat> a metal piece. Uh, I haven't even opened this one yet. I'm, I'm dying to see the packaging of this thing because it's just a metal bracket. Set aside for a moment. This is <laughs> the Bird Buddy. I'll come over closer. This is the Bird Buddy Seward Holder. See right there. Again, here's the, here's the wall one. I should have done a close up of that. And here is the all beautiful Bird Buddy itself. Now this again is the solar model. So when I saw the packaging, I said, my God, this is, this packaging is phenomenal. It's thick, sturdy, square, aligned, and, well, you'll see more. There's a piece of tape across here, a piece of tape across here. And I said, hmm, how do I remove that? Well, another design feature, you can just tear the little piece here. It rips off, nothing else rips. Then this rips off. Now, again, I'll kind of apologize for the lack of close-up. When I lift the top of this off, it's exactly like when you lift the top off a newly packed iPhone. It is tight. It's so tight when you set it back on, there's air keeping it from going back down. The tolerances are that tight. I used to be in quality control. I can tell you these packaging tolerances are in the thousandths of an inch. So we take that off. We look inside. There's some kind of a packaging constraint right here. There's nothing in here. But again, just this lid. The minute you see this lid, you say, this product is extraordinary. So we set the little aside. Next thing we see, a piece of paper that says, scan the QR code to begin. Well, I did that. And I actually started charging the unit, but uh, I was too, I was, I decided to do video and put it back together. This comes right off the top. Then there's another piece of interesting packaging. So this must come out here like this. And it does. Set this back down a minute. It says, please recycle. Down at the bottom. Very nice. But look at this thing. This is a thermoformed, not plastic. It's dense paper that's totally recyclable. And this does nothing more than cradle the camera itself. 
First I said, how do you get the camera on? I mean, it is, it's in there snugly, but not too snugly. And out it comes. But again, just take a look at this protective insert. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to say at this point it exceeds uh, apples in terms of uh, packaging expectations. And then we have the camera unit itself. Clean, slick, <clears throat> good buddy logo, uh, USB-C charging port. Okay, set that aside for the moment. Then, then we see the house itself. And I said, what's that thing in the middle? Well, again, I start lifting things out. First thing I notice is this thing is heavy. Now, it's not unwieldy heavy, but it's so far from a light piece of plastic, you, you just have no idea. We'll go back to that in a minute. But again, look at the base of the packaging. This packaging, I know I sound redundant, but uh, you don't... You don't design and manufacture packaging with these tolerances uh, without a tremendous amount of work. So my highest uh, compliments to the U.S. and I guess the Slovenian engineers that did just the packaging. We're just the packaging. Okay, set that aside. <clears throat> Go back to our bird buddy. And I say, now what's this? So I lift it up <clears throat> and I see some sort of a cup here. Not sure what that is some piece of paper there, a piece of cardboard holder, set that aside, and I pull this piece of packaging out, set it aside, another thermoformed paper, it's just incredible, please recycle it says. And then I start looking at the unit, now this is just the unit housing with no camera, and I could weigh this, and I, I probably will, but this sucker is sturdy. Now, not only is it sturdy, let me show you a couple features. So, on the bottom, <clears throat> there are four screw holes, all right? Now, typically in a piece of plastic, you wouldn't see threaded inserts in those holes. And these, these appear to be brass threaded inserts. That's evidence of, again, tremendous design, rather than just a piece, uh, a hole in plastic, threaded or not, that you would, that you would send in a uh, self-tapping screw. Now, these come with threaded screws, and that's the whole work. So right off the bat, that really amazed me. I see those uh, drainage holes at the bottom, should you end up with water. Uh, there's one solar panel on this side. And I'm trying to set this into the features. There's a couple threaded holes here. Not sure, maybe there's a, I don't know what goes in there. But I'm looking at uh, the plastic pieces in the back and front. This looks to be a little tab, uh, tab that folds down so you can access the uh, USB-C cord here that obviously plugs into the camera when you're using solar power. So you can use it both ways and you can charge it both ways. So uh, let's see. I went one step further before the charging because the piece of paper back to this also said scan QR code. Again, another Apple brilliant uh, feature. So I scanned the QR code immediately on my phone, took me to the Bird Buddy app, downloaded that, put it in, no problem whatsoever. First thing it said is stick in the USB cord, uh, C and charge it. So now we go back to this little puddle of stuff. It turns out this white thing is a uh, scoop, a feed scoop. But brilliantly, it's also an area where they house all the accessories. Here's a USB to C adapter, should you need that. This is a hanging rope to hang it from the top, I believe. I believe that's what that is. Again, full-length USB-C cord, USB-C charging cord. Now, it doesn't give you the charging module, so you'll have to use something off uh, one of your other phones or one of your other devices. Here we see a Phillips head 
right angle screwdriver. Nice, you have to go searching for one. And here are those beautiful, I'm gonna bet, God, they even look like they're stainless steel. I, I can't guarantee that, but with what Bird Buddy's done with those brass inserts, I wouldn't be surprised to see this be stainless steel. So there's four stainless steel screws to mount it to the holder. And lastly, there is in fact the holder itself. So again, I've yet to put this thing together and I've yet to see how it works. But I'm telling you, with packaging design of this level, I will be amazed if the software disappoints. So I'll do a second video once we charge it up. But I know there's probably 100,000 people out there that were waiting for this prize, this object. And I think you're going to hear a lot. It was worth the wait. Because again, the design that's gone into this thing shows precision, talent, and expertise. This, this is a, not often do you have a product that seriously exceeds expectations, but this one at least did that. So I'll sign off and I'll do another video once we get the thing up and running.